Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can get free printed volumes of manga. And this, it's not a joke. Uh, at first, when I heard about this, I thought it was a scam. Turns out, it's not. And there are more than one place that you can do this. Obviously, it requires the internet, which if you're watching this, that's fine. Because obviously you have internet, but you can't... Uh, I don't think you can do this on smartphones or anything unless you have, uh, you know, internet. I have no idea. I don't have smartphones, so I don't really know about that. But uh, they generate ad revenue. That's what these sites do. And they pay you a percentage back of what they're making off of ad revenue. So you'll do surveys, you'll watch videos, that kind of thing. And they will give you points or credits or whatever, and they give you like a few cents usually and uh... after a while you can use these to buy things now uh, there are three of these that i've used and they work one is bing bing it doesn't you can't buy your prizes directly but you can buy an amazon gift card and for five dollars you can get a volume of manga because a lot of them if if you're willing to buy used then a lot of them are for one cent and shipping is three ninety nine so you'll pay four dollars and still have one left over and so that bing all you do is you use their search engine and you click on their offers that's it you can get about sixteen points a day on a normal day when you first sign up if you go through all the stuff all of the uh... the tours and things you'll wind up in a couple of minutes with around 200 points, 180, 90. Um, the first, like, as your membership gets better, you'll get more stuff because you can go from bronze to silver to gold. Right now, I'm a silver member because I've only gotten, like, 530-something credits. Uh, you start out, you have no real bonuses or anything, you register your account, and that's about it. Then when you uh, you get a certain number of credits, and you'll get to a silver, and they'll give you, I think, like 50 credits for free. And then when you get to gold, you'll get discounts on everything. And uh, so basically, it'll take a couple of days to uh, register your order I just ordered my first gift card on there this morning, and I'm waiting for the code to get to my email, which I've seen, I, I asked on the internet how long that would take, and they said it might take a couple of days, so that's semi-inefficient, but it's free, and all you have to do is search about 30 things a day, and all I do is, like, type a letter, enter, type a letter, enter, space, enter, yeah, it, it'll count as a different search for everyone, so... After you've get done that, have an Amazon account, get the gift card, wait for the email, apply the card to your account. You do have to give them your mailing address, obviously, or you have to give it to Amazon, not to Bing. You don't have to do that. But as far as I know, it, it'll work, I guess. As long as I get the code, it'll work because I have friends that use this, so it's legit. You can trust that. Um, second would be PointsToShop.com. I am no longer a member of this site, and I will get to that in a minute. Um, basically, it's the ad revenue site. You do the surveys, the polls, all that kind of crap, and you'll get points for it. You do all their offers once you get 500 points, I think, or, yeah, about 400, 500, uh, you buy directly from Amazon. And they did this basically, I believe, to prevent you from getting more than one account. But you buy through them from Amazon. And what I mean by that is, when you look to redeem your points or like spend them or whatever it says, you will see these categories and like a search. And if you search something, it will come up with Amazon's results. It will come up with their prices, their pages, everything like that. And when you order through points to shop, it will take slightly longer. 
because it will have to go through them to register then it will have to go and register with the whoever you're buying from but it does work I got probably five or six books from them but I am no longer a member of the site I no longer use it because after you've used it for a certain amount of time it feels like none of the offers actually work anymore none of them are actually doing anything for you um, you have to have an email for a lot of the offers so have a spam account is that's what I did but I, I still use that as a spam account but uh, that's pretty much all I can say about that one is I dislike it because after a certain amount of time it just doesn't seem to work anymore and there's not like a daily thing you can keep doing it just depends on if the offers actually register but you can get some neat stuff you do have to give the site your address you have to give points to shop your actual information or you will not get prizes but I I have gotten things from them I, I hope you trust me uh, these, the ring, I got, I think, three of these from Points to Shop. Um, I got a couple of, of uh, different manga from them. And so, yeah, it works. It's not a scam. Uh, it seemed like it when I first started. I, you know, I didn't enter my real information, but after I saw that it actually worked, then I was fine with it. Um, they, they haven't done anything, I mean, your email account that you put in for all of the stuff, it will be spammed ridiculously, because I've gotten thousands and thousands of emails in that account, um, but there's not really a downside to it, other than, if you're like me, you'll start it, and you'll get, like, addicted to it, I guess, and for the next little while, you'll, like, keep doing it. I, I found it on a Saturday, I think, and uh, I spent like all day just doing crap on there, and I had my first book by the second day. Um, the next one, which I like significantly more, is Swagbucks, and yeah, hearing that name, I was, my first thought was, God, this is retarded, this can't be real. It's real. Uh, this actually works on ad revenue the same way that Bing does and the way that Points to Shop does because they have uh, a search engine that if you use it, you will be rewarded points randomly. Randomly. You cannot just keep searching and winning, which I really hate because they claim you can, but they're lying. That's crap. Uh, if you've ever heard of Search and Win, that's, I believe, the engine that they're using. It's uh, it's the same principle, basically. Uh, every several hours, if you search something, you'll get a random number of points. Um, that's basically all you can say about that, is you won't always get something, though, and you won't always get high points. Sometimes you may get 10, may get 20, you get 50, it's random. But, uh, other than that, you do surveys, you do... Uh, daily polls, things like that, and uh, I've had this account for a while, but I just started using it yesterday, and, you know, I, I spent all day on it, and I already got over $5, I got, you have to buy gift cards on here, like on Bing, you don't buy straight from Amazon, which is semi-disappointing, but it apparently takes 10 to 14 days to register your gift card purchase, which I think is a little ridiculous, but uh, from what I've seen, it's probably due to the magnitude of people that are uh, trying to purchase things from the site. Because it is a very, very popular site. And most people at, their, at, at first also think that this is a spam, or spam, is, is a scam, sorry. Uh, and it's, it does probably spam your email and stuff. I don't know. I have the same account on everything like that, and I don't look at it. But... So don't use a real, real email. I would not advise that. Uh, basically, get your points. You can get gift cards or other things, but I use to get gift cards for Amazon. 
go on my Amazon account, put in the code, buy manga. So those are three completely free, well, you can pay for certain offers and things, but that's beside the point. You don't have to. There's three completely free ways that you can get printed copies of manga, but it will require an address. I, I don't know how people feel about that. Probably not everybody enjoys that, but uh, you don't have to have credit card information or anything like that. You can enter fake names, all that crap that you want, but you do have to have an address. So that's the only real downside. But anyway, I think that's about all I can say. So Anime Observer, see you later.